Yo, what's going on, gang? It's that black guy, the black guy, back in with another banger video for y'all. And like, I'm back, yo. Who would have? <laughs> who, who, who thought this was gonna happen? Honestly, I wasn't planning on posting this whole fucking summer. I'm gonna keep it a stack with y'all. I was not gonna post jack shit, but I kind of felt bad, and I seen that my subscribers was going up, even though I haven't been posting. So I'm like, yo, I might as well throw a video out there for the culture. You know what I'm saying? So. You're welcome. But this shit gonna be about... This shit just happened like a week ago when I was at the beach with my friends. So let's just get into this shit. So like I said, this shit literally happened a fucking week ago. You feel me? So I'm chilling with uh my one friend. We gonna call her... um I don't fucking know, bro. We gonna call this bitch Christina or something, bro. You feel me? So me and Christina vibing. We just chilling at her crib type shit. And it's like 90 fucking degrees outside. Last week... This past two weeks, it's been hot as fuck every day. Like, from, like, 11 p.m. to, like, 5, it's been, like, straight 80, 90 degrees. So, I've been working all week, and I'm tired as fuck. So, this was the one day that week I had off, and I'm like, yo, we're going the fuck outside. I'm not trying to be sitting here with you, respectfully. Unless you're gonna suck it. <laughs> she wasn't gonna suck it. So, I'm like, I right, we out. Why are we here? You feel me? So, hop in the whip. She's like, yo, let's go to the beach or something. She came up with the idea. I'm not going to lie. She's like, yo, let's go to the beach and do some type shit. At first, I was thinking about, yo, we could just chill in the pool in the backyard. Or She's like, nah, the pool dirty and shit. I don't feel like cleaning it and whatever. I'm like, all right, whatever, bitch. We going to the fucking beach then. So we go to the fucking, um, what's, the, what's that store called? Stop and Shop? Shout out Stop and Shop, bro. Stop and Shop kind of clutch. So we go to Stop and Shop. You know, we get a fucking little uh, baggie of ice and we get a couple of six packs or whatever the fuck we was drinking and shit. So we get all that shit, bring that shit in the car. She got a little cooler in the back, in the, in the trunk. So it's lit already off the top. So we're about to dip. And I'm like, wait, it's just going to be us two. Like if we go into the beach, we might as well invite more people type shit. So I start hitting up some of the people that I work with, even though I'm going to be honest, I kind of don't really fuck with them niggas for real. Like that dead ass. I'm going to be honest. Like truth be told, them niggas just like, it's like they go out of their way to talk to me and it's like I don't really talk to them like that. You feel me? So I kind of felt bad. I'm like, you know what? They always ask me to hang out with them and I'm always kind of flaking on them niggas and doing other shit with other people. So I guess I'll invite them for the one time type shit. So I invite like two two of them niggas that was working because they were off. And one of them's like, yeah, nah, I'm busy right now. The other one's like, oh, I could pull up. So scoop that nigga. We're going to call that nigga um, Jake. So we scoop Jake. Me, Jake, Christina, we fucking lit in the car. Cause this nigga Jake, um, I don't know if I did a story. I probably didn't, bro. I haven't posted in like five months. Let's be honest. I yeah, I probably don't know any of these people. I'm not gonna act like y'all do. So this nigga Jake, he's like, he's like a very sociable, like outgoing person type shit. Like the first day I came into work, and I asked him one question about the job. This nigga had like a whole thirty minute conversation with me about some other random bullshit. So after that point, I was like, yeah, like this nigga is definitely like one of those dudes that just like likes hearing his own voice type shit. So I invite him the whole time we're in the car. I'm trying to play music. This nigga is just yapping. He's just talking about bullshit. Mind you, this dude does no drugs. He doesn't smoke. He doesn't. I, I don't know if he drinks for real. He, he was taking a couple sips of a. He had one beer like he was barely drinking. So he barely does any drugs like that. And he's like, this dude is just like off the wall type shit. So. I just invited him because I was like, this nigga going to make this shit into a movie. You feel me? And he did. So he's yapping in the car and shit. At that point, we're like an hour away from the fucking um, the beach because the beach is all the way up, like upstate type shit. Like she went, she goes to some deep ass beach, like mad far away because apparently to her, every other beach is dirty except the one beach she goes to. Every other beach in the entire fucking world is dirty except that beach. Like, all right, bitch, whatever. So. She's, she's driving. I'm not driving. I have my feet kicked up on the fucking, um, the, um, what's that shit called, nigga? The fucking, the dashboard or whatever. I got my feet kicked up. I lit up a blunt. I'm chilling. Bl blasting music and shit while this nigga's yapping my ear off in the back seat. So, hour goes by. We get there. We find a spot at the beach. We chilling. Crack open some beers. And we lit. Type shit. So, we popping or whatever. We about to go out to the water because the waves is kind of busting and it's hot as fuck. So we go out to the water. Shorty wants me to take pictures of her. You know how bitches be like, yo, my God, take my photo and shit. So I go take a couple flicks. She asked to use my vape. 
So I'm like, all right, here, because I guess her shit died or whatever. So I give her the vape. She in the water hitting the vape for the flick. Tell me why this bitch dropped the vape, nigga. I'm not going to lie. Well, as soon as I seen her drop that vape, boy, I was holding back. I was about to run up to her and hit her with a Superman punch. I'm not going to cap. Nigga, I just bought the vape. It was on 90%, fully charged up and everything. Like, that's $30 down the drain, bitch. You serious? And then she's giggling about it because she kind of already tipsy and shit. She's like, oh, my dad. Oh, my God. How did that happen? What do you mean, how did it happen? You dropped it. Like, what do you mean, how did it happen? Yo, don't piss me off. So I'm already kind of mad right there. Like, she has to, like, apologize. Like, yo, I'll buy you a new one when we when we leave or whatever. But, like, you know I'm fiending right now to hit the fucking Nick. So I'm sick as fuck. I'm like, bitch, are you dead ass? So I'm sitting there at the uh, at a, where our towels and shit is. I'm kind of stressed. I'm not going to lie. That shit killed my whole vibe. <laughs> like, <laughs> respectfully. One thing about me... If I don't got nicotine, you gonna get me tight. <laughs> like, I'm gonna be a very irritable person if I'm not smacking a vape or something, smoking a bogey or whatever. So, I'm looking, I'm looking like, yo, I'm not gonna lie, bitch, you just killed the whole vibe for me. So, I end up going on my phone, hitting up some people. I'm like, yo, like, you close by type shit. But it's like, bro, no one's near me, bro. I'm upstate. Like, no one's gonna be around me to g- deliver me anything, weed wise, drug wise, nothing. So, I'm like, fuck me, dude. So at this point I go to the, um, you know, when you get, get off on the, on, on the beach and there's like the little dock area and they have like little fucking food spots and like little areas you can buy drinks and shit. So we was over there and I ended up just asking random people. Cause mind you at this point, I'm kind of a little tipsy too. So I'm just asking random people. I'm like, yo, you got like a cigarette or a vape or something. And a bunch of people, I asked like three, four people, they all say, nah, no, I don't have anything. Sorry, blah, blah, blah. And then I go to this one dude. It's like a group of like three people. I think they're like probably around the same age as me type shit. Maybe a couple. They probably just graduated high school type shit. I'm like, yo, y'all got anything like you feel me? We could use and get little and then whatever. So this one dude calls me over. He's like, yeah, like, come over here. Let me show you something. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking the worst. I'm like, yo, I don't really trust these niggas like what are you calling me over to the corner for, bro? You about to jump me? Like, I'm literally wearing no shirt and a bathing fucking, like, boxer trunks. Like, what are you going to rob me of, nigga? You feel me? So I just go with him. And he's like, yeah, I got this. My son pull out some pretty nice looking blow. I'm not going to lie. That shit was looking pretty good. I'm like, wait. Like, shit got real quiet. As soon as he pulled that shit out, it's like everything in, around me just paused. As I was just staring. I was locked into that baggie. I was like, wait. What, what's your... What you got there, big bro? What's that? <laughs> like, what, what, what you doing with that there, buddy? So, <laughs> so this nigga, like, he's like, yeah, like, feel me? I could give you a little bit if, if you want it. Like, you got bread? Like, you got cash app or whatever? I'm like, nigga, how much you want? Let me get a little, like, sample of that shit. You feel me? Because, like, I'm not just going to buy some random ass fucking baggie of fucking white powder from some random white boy I see on the fucking, at the beach. You feel me? That shit could be anything. So I'm like, yeah, like, let me get a little bump of that. See if it's really like, really what you say it is type shit. He's like, all right, bro, I got you. So we go to the, um, you know, the fucking bathroom area where niggas change and wash they fucking the, the sand off of them and shit. So we go in that shit. We go in one of the stalls or whatever. He pulls it out, puts it on the phone. I try it. I'm like, hey, that shit kind of nice. It wasn't the best Coke I ever had, but you know, at that point I haven't done blow in like probably a, a couple months, maybe damn near a year at that point. So. Anything getting snorted up my nose, I'm liking. <laughs> you feel me? I'm a fucking fiend. So I'm like, yes, sir. Like, how much you want for like a, like two grams type shit? I'm not trying to OD because like we're going to be sitting out, ass out on the beach, like just doing railing lines. Like, that's a little crazy. So I'm just going to keep, you know, taking little bumps, d- digging it out the fucking baggy type shit. So he's like, yo, two grams I got you for like 150. I'm like, 150? For two grams? I'm like, ah. At that point, you know, I was like, I'm desperate. I don't got no nick. We only had like one or two joints left and the alcohol wasn't really hitting like it was supposed to. So I'm like, fuck it, bro. Like I'll send you the 150. You give me whatever you're going to give me. So I'm not going to lie. He kind of did like, he blessed it a little bit. He gave me a little more than two grams. Like he, I scaled it. He didn't have a fucking scale to just weigh it right there on the spot. So he just dumped a little bit into another baggie and just gave it to me. And I'm not going to lie. He gave me a little, he gave me like kind of a lot more than two grams. I don't think that nigga even knew what two grams was to be honest. Cause he gave me like 2.5 at least. I'm like, damn dude. Like I didn't say nothing. I was like, yo, good looks. Like I'm not going to tell you, you just gave me OD, but good looking big dog. So (laughs) I go back to where my people is at the, um, 
where I left them at, where we're where the food and shit is. I go over there, I kind of show it to them, and you know this nigga, um, what I name him, Jake. This nigga Jake is like, yo, nah, like I don't, I'm not, nah, nah, I'm not doing that. He already immediately as soon as he sees the back, he starts acting mad scary. He's like, nah, bro, like you know, I don't like doing drugs and all that shit, bro. Like that's y'all, bro, y'all valid. I'm not, I'm not partaking in this. I'm like, all right, bro, whatever. So I look at Christina and. I don't know if I mentioned this before in a different story or whatever, but this girl, Christina, this is the girl that I've been doing like cocaine with pretty consistently since high school. Like I went to high school with this girl and we would do blow literally damn near every weekend from like sophomore and junior year. Like every other weekend, bro, I'll be at this bitch's crib railing lines and then we would like literally be going crazy. So I knew she was about it. So as soon as she seen the shit and I locked eyes with her, we knew what the fuck time it was. So, we go back to our spot at the beach. We started, feel me, picking that shit out. I started, you know, gumming it and shit, you know, getting little bumps in. I'm starting to feel good. I'm feeling great, actually. I'm feeling spectacular. I forgot about that vape. As soon as I hit that line, nigga, I was like, eh, fuck a vape, nigga. I got some cocaine. It's lit. <laughs> and, like, the spot we picked was kind of valid, too, because there wasn't really that many people around us type shit. There was a fucking little ATV that I would drive around every once in a while. You know, the security niggas that be fiending about niggas smoking on the fucking, on the beach or whatever. But like, the ATV drove past us like twice while we were literally smoking a joint and the nigga didn't say anything. Like, I I guess the one person that was doing the security that day just didn't give a fuck about the weed. So, he was kind of just vibing, just minding his own business. Honestly, I think that nigga was, I was just driving around just looking at the bad bitches that was around there, to be honest. Niggas be horny. But, that's neither here nor there. So, me and Shardy, we, we, I'm not gonna lie, we demolished that baggie, bro. Like, within, like, two hours, nigga, what time we got there? Like, 12? Bro, by, like, we got that baggie at, like, 12.30, 12.45, nigga, by, like, fucking three, that whole baggie was fucking done, gone. Threw that shit in the fucking, in the, in the beach somewhere, nigga. I think one of the seagulls was snorting that motherfucker. I don't know. One of them seagulls must have got fucking lit, cause I threw that baggie wherever the fucking went. And... <laughs> Yeah, nigga, we had a great time. So I'm literally in the water just fucking around. I have on a bonnet because I have fucking, um, what's it called? Because my hair, I just got my hair done. So I wasn't really trying to get my shit wet type shit. Pause. So I got a bonnet on in the water. I'm literally just doing dumb shit in the water. And we're just fucking around having a good time type shit. You know what I'm saying? And later on, we about to leave. We getting ready to dip. This is at like 4, 4.30 type shit. We about to get ready to fucking skedaddle back to the crib. And... <laughs> As we going up to the fucking part where we uh where you go wash off the fucking sand off your feet and all that bullshit, I end up seeing the same dudes that fucking gave us the fucking blow, and them niggas look fucked up, bro. They look like they just been through war type shit. Like them niggas look crazy. So I go up to them, I'm like, yo, y'all good? Like what the fuck happened to y'all niggas type shit? Like what the fuck is going on? So these niggas tell me that the dude that sold me the fucking cocaine. He was trying to sell it to other... I guess he was there trying to push that shit. I don't know. I guess he just had a lot on him. He was just trying to sell that shit. So, they told me this nigga was trying to sell it to someone else. And I guess it was like a group... A group another group of people that they were trying to... It was like a group on group type shit. So, they're trying to sell it to this other group of people. And as they're doing the transaction, I guess the nigga like must have seen how much shit he had in his bag. Because that nigga just had one book bag with him. And he just had a whole bunch of stuff in there. I wasn't looking in his bag. I'm not nosy like that, but... I'm assuming he had a bunch of drug paraphernalia and maybe some cash, his wallet and shit in there, all his belongings type shit. So the niggas see that. And I guess one of them niggas must have snatched his fucking bag and tried to fucking bounce. So they must have chased them niggas down and then they must have had like a fight in the parking lot or something. I don't know what happened, but them niggas like they went through war. One of them niggas had like scratch marks all over his fucking back and shit. His fucking chest was bleeding. I'm like, damn, nigga. Golly. Like, fuck. Is that serious over some coke? I would never. I'm not going to lie, bro. Like, if, if you get to the point where you really, like, about to rob a nigga or fight a nigga for drugs, bro, like, you got to really reevaluate yourself. Like, look in the mirror and be like, damn, maybe, like, maybe I have an addiction type shit. Like, I'm not going to say, like, I never, like, stole some shit to get some weed before. I've definitely had. I definitely have done that before. I've definitely, you feel me, like, not trying to incriminate myself, but, like, let's be honest. I've definitely done it before. But I'm not about to sit here and rob a nigga in broad daylight. Just for a little bit of cocaine. Like, it ain't that deep. You feel me? So, yeah. That's what the end of that story, to be honest. It was just like, I didn't know what the fuck was going on, to be honest. I was geeked for most of that fucking day. 
Hopefully that nigga got his bag back. I don't even remember if he got the bag back, to be honest. I just I just seen them niggas look like they've been through fucking World War II, and I was like, damn. That's fucking tragic, but good looks for the coke. <laughs> you feel me? So, yeah, that's really the end of the fucking story. Um, I'm not going to sit here and lie and be like, yo, I'm going to start posting again. I don't know. I, I just don't know. Sometimes I don't feel like uploading. Sometimes I just be doing other shit. Like, deal with it, bro. You feel me? If you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. If you don't like the video, you don't have to like, comment, subscribe. I don't care that much, but it'd be cool if you did type shit. So, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace!